we're gonna play a game. It's called Choose the Best BET Film. Hood classic films, BET films, black films. Corey, me and Corey are gonna talk about debate about it, and I got a, a list of movies. Okay. If which one and you have to tell me which one's better. All right. All right. So the first one's up. I'll let you pick because I really didn't watch these movies as much. And it's gonna be crazy when y'all hear these movies and y'all gonna judge me. I don't care. Look at this. Look at this. Boys movie. in the Hood versus Juice. Which one would you? Which one is better? Nah, you know, you you that was that's biased, bro. You know, I'm gonna choose Juice, bro. I'm going Juice, bro. You going Juice? I named I named my dog after after Tupac in that movie. Okay. I think Juice is the better movie too. To you be think honest. so? Yeah, I do think. That. You think you think Boys in the Hood overrated? I think it's a little overrated. You think it's just, it's a great no 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 let me not say that overrated it's a great film it's a great film like it's it's a hook it's a hood staple everybody should see it at least five times <laughs> <laughs> I think Juice is the better movie though I really like the movie I Juice. never watched Boys in the Hood all right anyway go ahead Next. I'm half black sorry people yeah. I was born I was in this I'm a suburban kid I'm a sub what what had Codex in I'm a suburban I'm, boy how does he say uh, that? I don't know what you're talking you, about. you don't know what you're talking about the uh, beef. He was like with the white girls. He's like, I'm a suburban kid. Nah, that's not <laughs> yeah. like Kodak. Though. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I never watched that. But all right, I got next one. This is actually biased for you. I hope you choose the right one. Damn. Love and basketball versus love don't cost a thing. Which one's better? <laughs> Come on, bro. Yep. You did that on purpose. I'm, I'm hitting. Gonna go- I'm gonna go love the basketball. Stuff. Oh, okay. Thank God. Even though I, you know, I love. The I know movie. you do, but Love Don't Cost a Thing was a great movie. That was a good movie. I but, love movies like nothing, that. Nothing, nothing compares to Love and Basketball. Nah, that was literally a classic. Like, love and Basketball, bro. Like that. That was that's every nigga hoop dream, bro. Literally, like, niggas seen that shit and they they want to live that, bro. Literally, <laughs> they want to live that soon. They remember on Instagram 2014, they used to post like the pictures, be like this uh-huh. trying, this how I'm trying to be with the, whatever. Yeah, and bro. then oh my God, what are you talking about trying to be with my 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 shirt that rebound? for me yeah <laughs> yeah if you was a hooper and you if you watched love and basketball you know that was your dream you know that was your dream bro but yeah love and basketball but you didn't want to sure. get hurt and have to watch your wife in the nba make like thirty five thousand dollars a year <laughs> oh damn <bro. laughs> you, you had to break it down like that bro <laughs> chill, chill, I'm playing. but nah that was a great love don't cause thing was also a great movie that though. was a great movie i, that, I, like, the, I, I like i like the underdog story me of it, too bro, bro. I, I love like those the, movies i can bro. see myself in the lame nigga at first of course me? yeah so, you see what I, mean? so I, I like and they feel me you all know that lame nigga that want the bad bitch bro like you feel me like you can see and he gets her we just, always relate to that because that relates to a bunch of us, bro. Mm-hmm. Not all of us are the cool kids. We were never the cool kids, man. Look at who we, look what we talk about. Speak for yourself. Nah, you were you told you talked about another podcast. You wasn't nah, the cool I was kid. lame. I was definitely lame. Me too, bro. We like wrestling and um, I was we was afraid of girls. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but all right, the next lineup. This one's really hard. Above the rim versus he got game. Choose wisely now. It seems easy. It, no, nah, it's really not easy. I like, I love both films. Yes, Above the Rim was a great movie, bro. He got game, bro. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. That was I love, I love, I love Above the Rim though. Tom Shepard, bro. My boy you has bowling 50. by yourself. Tom Shepard, shout out Scrap. He locked up. That's my boy. He locked up. Bro. Dang, bro. But yeah, he, he that was his bar. But anyway, my yeah, boy yeah. was he yeah. had forty in two minutes. I think it was first when he was shooting by himself. He was with no with ball, no ball, bro. <laughs> nah, I gotta go. I said I go. He got game. He got game. You think it's more of the like it's, why he got game though? It's more the I don't know. I think I just I think probably I just seen it more. On TV. Seen? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did yeah, watch I just, that more. I just seen it more. I love above the rim now. Yeah, I like. I like the storyline of he got game a lot more. Me too. Yeah, like it's the. Yeah, I don't. I think I think we were just it was. He got game was just more like relatable to yeah. more people. I feel like yeah. I feel like above the rim, like he was, like, like I like he, the I like the gangster part, not the gangster. Like, like you feel me? Like the hood part of it. Though. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like he above the rim was like he was literally he got game, but like the hood version. Yeah, like more of the hood uh-huh. version, like. He was literally the same thing. He was a high recruit, but he was more of like the gang banging side. Yeah, Jesus uh-huh. shot. Jesus wasn't. Just, he was just he just hooping. He was just hooping, and then his dad freaking murdered his mother mm-hmm. and stuff. But I I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll take he got game also. All right, I got another one. Drumline versus Stomp the Yard. Mm. If you would have said you he got you got serve, but Stomp the Yard that that go that still going the same. Yeah. It's, I'm going drumline. Really? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, I think yeah. I'm taking Stomp the Yard, I like, bro. I like drumline. Stomp the Yard was hard, though. I'm not going to lie. I like, like, feel me? I can't dance, though, so I'm going to go drumline. Really? Bro, Stomp the Yard was... 
I, I no, nah, it was busting, bro. Uh, but what, over, what was it? Who's who's the girl in it? Uh, oh, oh, making good, right? Making good, yeah, yeah. Fire, bro. But really, when cause when they came out with the freaking the wolf uh-huh, cats on, yeah, it was going stupid. It was hard, bro. But still, drumline. Drumline, bro. Damn. <laughs> I feel like they had the same. They, that was like the same dynamic, but different. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what's the word? Out, not outcome. Different. Like how they did it is different. Yeah. Like they had like the they had two schools fighting like one was just music the other one was just dancing but i like i fuck with the dancing bro nah, i mean i like the dancing too bro. but you like the drumming more bro i like not in my real life yeah like, yeah but just like yeah like drum line. okay drum okay line was hard, bro. all right now i got another sports one we got two all-time classes we got remember the titans versus coach carter Coach Carter, easy. Okay, no, 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 don't, 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 that was easy. That was easy for me. Bro, really? Yeah, that was easy for me. Did you did you like remember the Titans at least? I do. I remember I remember the Titans. I really like Coach Carter though. Like and Coach Carter has so many like quotable gems in there, bro. They do, but like bro, remember the Titans? He literally brought the black kids on and put them on and made them great. He did that for Coach Carter did too. No, they Coach Carter ass. went to the black kids. They was ass though before he got there. He huh? It was ass before. Yeah, he got ass there. black kids. The the freaking uh, remember the times they brought the black kids to make them. They were asked too. They was just white. He was a black coach. He made. He's like, yeah, we're not gonna have no separate black and white vans. We all gonna be in one bus. Ah, uh, you yeah, you trying you trying to feel to the. I feel you, but I'm going with Coach Carter though. Like I like Coach Carter. Like of he said, course. he shot, he shot him, bro. He was right there, man. I want to be like on the team. So you give she shot Lenny. Like, that's <laughs> Lenny. What was his? Name? No, I don't think it was Lenny. It was something. What was his name? I think it was Lenny. I don't know. I think you were close. It might have been Lenny. But I I like... And then he dropped that long quote. I don't even... I feel me? We're not, we not inadequate. I don't know what he said. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah. yeah. was hard, bro. You don't me. even know what he meant. You don't even know Nigga, what that means. I don't give a fuck. I know it was hard. You don't bro. know what that meant. I felt it, bro. He said, like, thank you, coach. Like, if I tell you, like, comp- like reading comprehension, what did this sentence mean? You if I read it, I could do it. All right, bet. Let me bring it up right now. Let me bring it up right now. I found the quote. So now I want you to interpret to interpret what it means to you. I so you. the quote is, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. You missed a part. Wait, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. No, you missed a part. That's what it says right here. I know the first part. Our deepest I, fear is that we're not, it's not that we're inadequate. Oh my gosh. And all right, all right, all right. Yeah, now finish it. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. He said all that. That's what I'm saying. He said all that. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought it was quicker. I, I don't remember that. Maybe I just so said it. I, I yeah, it's easy, bro. So they little black kids from the hood that <laughs> look. Why you laugh at that? They little black kids in the hood that really like they don't have no expectations and they don't amount to nothing. Mm-hmm. So their biggest fear is not they not that they're not inadequate. As in like the world already already see low as them. They already see that they have mm-hmm. they have already have low expectation of them. Their biggest fear that they could be more. Because now if they, have, if they can be more, if they have the potential to be more, then that puts more pressure on them to be great. Whether it's easier to be a bum or be a street dude or be in the hood or be in gangs, it's easier to be that. It's easier to go that route because that's what is already expected. So it's easier to do that. When you're wow. expected to do something great and then you can't accomplish that, then that's that's where the fear of being... What is what's the first part? Fear of being inadequate? No, the is it was that the one after that. Oh, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond Bro, measure. Yeah, now that we can achieve this power, but if we fail, that's where the fear comes from. So instead of trying to be better or trying to do more we and, f- and, and failing, you'd rather just go the easier route where people expect you to do anyway. Because if you do that, if you fail, if you whatever, you feel me? That's what I expect you to do. If you do more, it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Wow. That's what the quote means. Stop playing with me. Yo, bro. you ain't crazy. Reading comprehension on a thousand. That's what I'm saying, bro. Reading comprehension on a thousand. Wow. All right. All right. 
I got one more movie though. 14, 1480 on my SAT. Stop playing with me. Did Six, you really? Six ninety on the on, on the English part. Did you really get fourteen eighty? Mm-hmm. Wow. Shout out to you, man. I got like eleven something. Yeah. Eleven eighty, I think. But last group of movies. We got Bad Boys, the Bad Boys franchise versus mm-hmm. the Big Mama House franchise. That's See, a that's a, that don't seem that hard, but it really is kind of difficult. I would the third one was kind of cringe. What Bad Boys? No. At Big Mama's house. Big Mama house. Is that the one with the uh, with, with the sun? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kinda cringe, bro. I'm not gonna. All right, lie. let's do the first two. First two movies. First of two. Each. First two movies of each. Bad Boys. Mm. Cause the first two Bad Boys was the second Bad Boys was OD. Was OD. Bro. Oh my god, that was a great film. That was maybe might be top ten films of all time. I'm not gonna lie. Second Bad Boys is amazing, and that's why I give it the home. Mm-hmm, I give it that. Then the third, so let's say the third Bad Boys, way better than the third Big Mama House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first ones are kind of neck and neck. Yeah. Second, you see them, the yeah. distance, and then the third one, the, the big leap. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you think uh, Big Mama House better than the Medea movies? There's so many Medea Just the movies. family ones, not the ones where they're like freaking like cheating on like, their wives. I like Big Mama House. I like Big Mama House too. I like, I feel like... Medea movies, there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot of like you said. There's a lot of Medea movies, but I feel like that's what makes it kind of not as good because there's a lot of them. There's, there's too many of them. Yeah, like there's like there's like so many reunions. Yeah, like so I'll take um the last Medea movie I seen was last one I seen was the Halloween one. The Halloween. That's the last the one first Halloween one. Is that the one where the, the lady she was like. I can smoke weed. I got a medical patch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, that's, that's the, the first one. Yeah. I, I seen that in the movie theaters with. Damn, what year was that? 2017? Yeah. 2017, 20... Yeah, 2017, I think that was. I seen that movie theater with... I see, I see I'm the movie. Go <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.